you on the GoPro track review. Mammoth Motocross is honestly one of the biggest, crazy events there ever is. You're at 10,000 feet of elevation, your bike's slow, track's rough, but it's a destination point everyone wants to go to. Out of this gate like no other, first gear starts pretty much on all bikes, 125 to 450s. Up this uphill, sweeping left all the way to the top, you'll end up driving fourth gear, get ahead in the tight left U-turn. You start heading down one of the most steep, bumpy downhills in North America into a complete 180 U-turn into another uh, banked left-hand U-turn. This is the most important part of the track on that second left. You want to get your turn set up because you mess this turn up. The next seven S-turns are pretty much done. So I like to start left to right, widening, making the shortest run of the track all the way through. Typically, it's opposite of the normal guy's lines. That's where you're kind of set, making the shortest run from the track all the way to the back. About seven turns, seven to eight turns, I believe, all the way back, and they go by so quick. And then you'll find a couple ruts in the back part that you want to tuck inside, and once again, use the shortest run. Man, it's super bumpy, super hard pack, but it's really critical that you take your time for these turns. Once you make, get to the very back of the track, you start heading back towards the pits. You're going to enter a real sandy, chucked out sand wash. I usually shift up to third or fourth, get that chassis line get over the roller into the kind of a carousel before the world famous John Miller tree turn. John Miller tree turn is like no other in any racing. It could be one to three lines, usually ends up being one tight, tight off camera right. The off camera makes it really tricky with acceleration bumps as soon as you start getting on the gas and get a tight S turn to one of the fastest parts of the track before heading to the famous motocross freeway. Right? There's a lot of famous parts of this track, but Trillia is one of the most famous motocross tracks in the world. Hitting into the freeway, you're gonna jump down the freeway, third, fourth gear. From that, you'll go to a left-hand 90. You cross the finish line, and that's one lap. And 